thing looks dope. Damn, it is. I want to pet it. Uh, dude, I think it's gonna attack you. Don't be ridiculous. It's like a normal house cat. They like to get pets. Come here, kitty kitty. Come here, kitty kitty. Oh, shit. Ah! Hey guys, what's up? So, if you all remember a little while ago, I made a video on the Cheeto, right? The video was mostly about him, but I also talked a little bit about reaction and topic commentary. And look, while I think topic commentary is utter f***ing and repetitive, it's nothing compared to reaction commentary. Yet, in 2024, we still have people who are literal carbon copies of Leafy, and I thought we left this behind in 2019 when Cyrus, Benji, and Scrubby were at their peak. Also, for those wondering, I will briefly talk about the Cheeto and Society since they are the biggest reaction commentators currently. <laughs> All these reaction commentary channels make Leafy this year look like a f***ing king. Take for example, Sense of Society. Oh yes, one of the biggest reaction commentary channels currently. Just like Cheeto, Sense of Society does the same thing, making fun of the obvious. Like, I don't get it. How is this funny to anyone besides their 12-year-old fan base? Like, for example, this video titled, The Saddest Women on TikTok. Damn, I wonder I've seen that title before. Oh yeah, from Leafy is here. Really the situation, I literally went to a restaurant like a few hours ago and the girl that was serving us had tattoos. It's not about that. You know, any reasonable person would never get their face tattooed and I'm not against tattoos or piercing. I think they're really cool. You know, it's your body, your choice. You can absolutely do whatever you want. But then the corporation also has a right to be like, how are we gonna hire this person? And I thought it was- Yes, we get it. You shouldn't get your face tattooed. Wow, dude. Thank you for telling me such information. I didn't know already. Someone who's almost 30 years old who used to be a substitute teacher. Like, come on now, we gotta have standards. Like, I would love to see this video on Instagram Reels. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude, we get it. She's old. What a completely effortless joke, dude. I don't get it how making fun of the obvious is funny. Look, I'm not the joke police. Humor is subjective. But I do have a problem with reaction commentary channels stretching out the jokes for way too f***ing long. It makes it less hilarious than before. Uh, Chato does the same f***ing thing, but it's much more repetitive than Sensei Society. Points out the obvious and stretches out the already unfunny jokes for way too long. Uh, I hate it. I hate it. Dude, please stop. Stop. It's so annoying. It's like that teacher energy. You guys know what I'm talking about, remember? back in school you used to whisper to your friend you know you'd have a great joke you'd whisper it to him but maybe you whispered a little bit too loud and you got in the teacher's earshot and she turns around she's like oh is there something you wanted to share with the whole class jesus christ man this could have been a tweet or even a f***ing thought instead of making an eight minute video full of repetitive jokes and another obvious who only your 12 year old fan base laughs at because who also watches these guys' videos besides all their 12-year-old middle schoolers who think this type of humor is funny? It would be very rare for someone who's a full-grown adult to sit there and tell their partner, Oh, sorry, love, I'm watching a Sensei Society or a Cheeto video. We we'll have sex in 8 or 14 minutes. It is beyond me how there are actual people who enjoy watching this type of land waste. The Cheeto and Sensei Society aren't the only ones who make this type of content. They belong to this YouTube waste, as I like to call it, the Leafy Clone Community. The only thing that sets them apart is the name, profile, picture, and banner. Everything else is pretty much the same sh Honestly, I thought this type of content died with Leafy, Cyrus, Benji, and Scrubby, but I couldn't be more wrong. Please, no, don't leave me here, man. Please, do not, do not leave me here with the lion. Please, take me with you. And leave you here with the lion. Uh, I, I, goodbye, dude. Oh, it's a little kitty cat. Please don't hurt me. Please don't hurt me. Oh. It's right there. Can it, pumpkin? I wouldn't want to be biased. See, not even her own father believes she's innocent. I motion for her to be burned at the stake. I don't have daddy issues. Need I remind you that you're under oath? You didn't even make me swear on a book. Look at your feet. Oh, sh He's good. Now, where were you during the time of the murder? What murder? Did you hear that, gentlemen of the jury? She commits so many murders, she doesn't even know which one this is about. Bruh, I'm voting guilty. But he's alive. But I don't give a shit, dude! <laughs> Y'all thought Sensei Society, Cheeto, and the rest of the other big reaction commentary channels were already bad enough? Well, you'd be surprised because there are way many more reaction commentary channels that are 20 times worse. The only difference is the channel size. Take for example Young, he has a reaction commentary channel that has similar titles to Leafy is here. Hey, can you do me a favor and just, just, just follow me? <laughs> Motherfucker. <laughs> Motherfucker. <laughs> Friend fucker. <laughs> Friend fucker. <laughs> Literally someone's father doing this. Imagine going on TikTok and seeing your dad with the baby filter on crying with dried up cum on his 
face. Is this, this is the literal definition of a carbon copy of Leafy with little to no originality, no charisma, and most importantly, making fun of the obvious. Also, what the fuck are these thumbnails? They're all shit. At least a Cheeto and Leafy put some effort into their own thumbnails. Young isn't the only small reaction commentary channel. There's this other reaction commentary channel that goes by the name of Moxie. Judging by the thumbnails, you can already tell it's another carbon copy of Leafy. What the hell are these thumbnails? You can't even see the fucking text. It literally looks like they were made in Microsoft Paint. And he actually blew up because he said that he hated the taste of drinking water. Now, I don't know how you hate water. You know, it's water. It doesn't have a taste. You just drink it and it's healthy for you. But he hates water for some reason. I don't understand what his beef with water. Maybe his family like drowned in a pool when he was younger and he swore to never drink water again. You're already 43 seconds in. I just want to click off because of how monotone and boring his voice is, making the viewer want to fall asleep. One last example of this content waste is this individual. You can already tell it's going to be a terrible video. Just another carbon copy of Leafy. To get home. Can you see this guy in the middle of the fucking parking lot? This guy is one of the many people that actually believe that they have quote unquote telekinesis. And yeah, what a shit video. <laughs>